let's talk about how to cure toenail fungus for under two bucks. All right, so what is this fungus? Fungus kind of is in the family of fungus, yeast, mold, and these uh, microorganisms uh, love a warm, moist environment, like in your shoes. This specific fungus is called dermatophyte, if you want to know that. Now, I just want to say that um, you have friendly fungus, beneficial fungus, called symbiotic fungus, and you have pathogenic or unfriendly fungus and yeast and mold and things like that. In fact, I want to show you something um, in this book that I'm reading, which is actually quite fascinating. It's called Mycorrhizal Planet, how symbiotic fungi work with roots to support plant health and build soil fertility. Now check this out. Pick a handful of old growth forest soil and you'll be holding 26 miles of linear mycelium. Now, what is mycelium? Mycelium is this fungus in the superficial layer of the earth. It's just a very friendly fungus that does a lot for the plant and the soil. So in just one handful of dirt in the forest, you have 26 miles of these little thread-like fungus that are helping breaking down leaves. They're helping decompose different things into smaller particles. They actually act as another organ for the plant to help break down minerals and help feed the roots. In exchange, the plant gives them carbohydrates, okay, as an exchange. So give me the carbs, I'll give you the minerals. So we have all these microorganisms living all around us, but this specific microbe is not the friendliest and uh, it's an overgrowth of a certain fungus that normally should be in check by our own immune system, but it can get out of control. Now, here's the challenge that I see here when you take medication. And again, I'm not telling you not to take medication. I'm just giving you the data. Um, Lamisol. Lamisol, that's a common medication they use for toenail fungus. You're going to take it orally and you're usually going to take it for two to three months. Okay. Now, the problem is this medication penetrating all the way deep into the inside of your nail. I mean, you have to take it a long time to penetrate, but in the meantime, it's doing a number on your liver. Uh, some of the side effects, it can increase liver enzymes. It can cause liver damage. It can cause lupus, okay, which is an autoimmune disease. It can create central nervous system damage. It can actually put you in the motion of depression and cause a loss of taste and jaundice, which is a liver problem, and even alopecia, which is hair loss. So not only does it come with a negative package with all these side effects, but it's marginally successful. It's like 30 to 40% successful. Now, if you look up alternatives to this, like natural remedies, there's going to be a lot of stuff you're going to read that, oh, there's not any studies that shows that it works uh, or it could be harmful or this and that. But I want to give you some solutions that I've personally seen do work. So these solutions I'm going to talk about at least have less side effects, a lot less side effects, if any, and they potentially could actually really help you get rid of this nasty fungus. Now, I've done a video on this before where I talked about soaking your feet in Epsom salts, which is magnesium sulfate for about 15 minutes a day, and then drying your feet out and making sure that you're maybe wearing uh, sandals around the house so your feet aren't so sweaty. And you're going to be adding two teaspoons of Epsom salts in four cups of water, and you're going to heat it up so it's nice and dissolved, and you're just going to soak your feet in there. Okay, so this is a good remedy. The problem with this remedy is it does take a long time to work. You're doing this for weeks and weeks and weeks, okay? So I'm going to give you a couple other things that are a little bit faster, okay? Tea tree oil. It originates in Australia. It's been used by the indigenous Australians for a very long time, and they used it for coughing, acne, dandruff, all topically, they don't take it orally, as well as lice, scabies, and fungus. It's a natural wide-spectrum antifungal uh, compound. It inhibits fungal mycelium, and this is that fungus I talked about. I mean, the interesting thing about a lot of these natural remedies, like even tea tree oil, it's developed these unique uh, protective mechanisms against environmental pathogens, uh, which are funguses, it could be viruses and bacteria. And so we can tap into that and use that to help our own bodies because it's natural and it's going to have a lot less side effects. Now, there is another remedy that I'm going to recommend that's even 
less expensive than tea tree oil, and it's under $2. Simple iodine, okay? Just one drop of this iodine on the toenail fungus every single day will inactivate that fungus to the point where it's not going to be there anymore. Now, there's a couple things about it. Some people don't like this bright yellow color that it's going to do on your nail. Well, guess what? You can get decolorized iodine, okay? And that way it's clear. It's not going to be a problem. Or if you don't mind the color stain, uh, I would recommend povidone type iodine. It's very inexpensive and it's pretty non-toxic. I did a video on how to get rid of skin tags with this iodine. And all you need is one drop of this every single day on the toenail, put it topically, try to keep your feet dry, okay? Not in a moist environment, especially around the house. Let your feet breathe and make an environment where the fungus cannot grow. Now, there's one very, very important point I want to mention, and that has to do with what fungus live on. They live on carbohydrates, okay? They're not keto-friendly. They're carb junkies. So guess what? If you start consuming less carbohydrates, the risk of this coming back are going to drop down dramatically. If you want more information about that, I put the video that you need to watch first right here. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before, hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that? So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it. If you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.